Hello, my dear students, and welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Eddie. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about benzene. And benzene is an aromatic compound. I'll be showing us specifically the benzene itself and also derivatives of benzene compounds from, from benzene. Now, benzene is a compound that is sp2 hybridized. The carbons present in benzene is sp2 hybridized. Now, this is the structure of benzene. This is benzene. And benzene basically is also called thin. Benzene is also called thin with a chemical formula C6H6. Now, in today's video lesson, I'll be showing us different structures and derivatives from, from benzene, like the likes of Now, this is the benzene structure attached to an OH group called the hydroxyl group. Now, high opacity, this compound is called hydroxyl benzene. This is hydroxyl benzene. But commonly, it is called phenol. This is phenol. Now, Phenol is a benzene derivative which is used as a disinfectant. Now you can see earlier I said that benzene is also called phen. Now an OH group that is attached to benzene, so I call it phenol, also called hydroxyl benzene. Now this is another benzene derivative. This benzene derivative is called nitrobenzene. This is nitrobenzene. Okay? Now, this is another benzene derivative. This is called amino benzene. An amino benzene is also called aniline. This is aniline. Now, this is another benzene derivative. A benzene structure attached to a CH3 group. This basically is called methyl benzene. And methyl benzene is also called toluene. Methylbenzene is also called toluene. Now, this is another benzene derivative. Now, in this case, we have two CH3 group. Two CH3 group on a benzene ring. This is called xylene. This is called xylene. Now, this is another benzene derivative. Okay. Now you can see that this is a benzene structure attached to two OH group at carbon one and two. What is the name of this compound? This compound is called catechol. This is called catechol. Now, this is another benzene derivative. Still attached to 2OH group. 2OH group. Now, in this case, it adds carbon 1 and 3. So, what is the name of this compound? This compound is called resorcinol. This is resorcinol. Now, this is another benzene derivative. Now, it... At carbon 1, there's OH, and also at carbon 4, there's OH. Now, what is the name of this compound? This compound is called quinol. This compound is called quinol. Now, these are various benzene derivatives 
we have different benzene derivatives. Now let's proceed. Now, this is another benzene derivative. Now, you can see in this case, there are three OH group, three OH group attached to this benzene structure. What is the name of this benzene? Basically, commonly, it is called pyrogalol. This is called pyrogalol, also called benzene 1, 2, 3, triol. This is called pyrogalol. Now, look at this benzene derivative. This is another benzene derivative. This benzene derivative is called hydroxyquinone. It's called hydroxyquinone. We have various benzene derivatives. Now let's talk about other benzene derivatives. Now, this is another benzene derivative. This is called naphthalene. And naphthalene, basically, is also called camphor. This is a compound that sublimes. Sublimation is the process by which a compound changes directly from solid state to gaseous state. Now, this is a very important compound that sublimes. Now, this is another benzene derivative. Now, in this case, this is naphthalene attached to OH. What is the name of this compound? This compound is called naphthol. This is naphthol. Now, whenever we have another benzene derivative that is attached to an NH2 group, this is called naphthalenemine. So we have various benzene derivatives and benzene is a compound that is, that is aromatic and benzene basically undergo substitution reaction and also undergo addition reaction. But some cases where it undergo addition reaction, the ring of benzene is being destroyed. So basically, these are the introductory aspects of benzene.